Hiya! Timberborn. These recordings are a couple months old, and I last put out a video for it about a month ago. At this point, I'm heading into a drought with few resources, and I think I'm about to die. Past me thinks I'm about to die. I know it's going to happen, but I'm not going to spoil it, so let's get back to it. Past me. Unfortunately, we're losing a few carrots. I think once they're dried out, you don't get anything for them. Oh no, I got some stuff for them. Okay. That was surprising. Nope, that's it. Okay, so we'll put the farms on pause. And when we start them up again, we'll have have them set to uh, the planting. We're down to our last thing of water. And we still got three and a half days to go, so this is not going to be fun. We are now officially out of water, and we still have two days left, so I wonder how thirsty they will become. You have the, the first guy complaining of thirst, but it looks like they have a long way to go. We might make it. They are still thirsty. And we have half a day left, but their thirst meter is only like at 40 or 50 percent, maybe 30 percent, something like that. So we're OK. I'm also going to clear out these these bushes right here because we're not actually um, harvesting these bushes anymore. And we'll get more carrots per square than we will for the berries, which we're, again, we're not eating. Okay, the drought ended, but it's still going to take some time for the water to reach us. Okay, again, drought in three days, but all of our carrots are at a point where um, we'll be okay. Unfortunately, we're also living on berries right now, which is fine for the time being. I think I'm going to harvest all of these trees and uh, sacrifice stability for um, wood right now because I need wood right now. Also, as the as the drought has started, I'm putting everybody on a 24 hour work week so that uh, everything will be filled and harvested and uh, everything else we need done. And here we are again, back to where we were last year, and no better off. Okay, this is empty. I think I want to destroy that. And I will move this over here when we have time. Uh, we've also finished our levee over here, our dam. Uh, but that's not going to stay there for very long. I'm going to be replacing these uh, with a, a lock or whatever right here. And we are once again out of water with two days left. 
That's wonderful. Uh, we also have enough to make another tooth grinding station. So we'll do that. I've lowered their hours to four hours a day because there's basically nothing that they're doing that means anything at this point. And psychologically, I think that if they're doing less, they're going to be consuming less, but I don't actually know if that's the case. And the drought is now over, and I've decided to sacrifice all of these bushes over here, because we're not really using them. That is the wrong button. And instead, I'm going to put in more pumps over here. I almost forgot to turn the back on. Stupid me. Oh, and we also have to put our uh, hours back up and turn the farm back on. Over here, we've got some trees that we're going to strip mine. And I'm going to strip mine them quickly. One thing this really this game really needs is shift work. But I guess if you put shift work in and there's too much like uh, oxygen not included. But if you're able to break up the workload so you have like say three or four shifts or something, then you can get beavers working like 24 hours a day doing crap. And we're gonna add in our extra pumps over here and uh, bring our road over there. We'll put in more water here and here in here and make sure we'll set it to water we're also back to eating the berries so we've got enough for six days i guess of carrots also be building our first science center right here Now we're in a flood, and I mean a a um, a drought. Let's see how well these these dams work out. We're about three quarters of the way through the drought, and I think we're just about to lose our reservoir here. Oh no, we still got some more space, so we're about 40% down. Maybe a little more. We're almost all the way through our drought, and our little piece of stream here is still hanging on. That gives me some hope. In fact, it gives me so much hope now that we're past the two-day mark here, so that if these guys uh, do start drying out, uh, we'll still be able to harvest them. I'm going to switch to primary harvest. Or primary plant, sorry. 
this way, they'll still um, harvest, but as soon as they're done harvesting, they'll immediately go back and plant. This is so that there will always have some carrots in a growth cycle and a harvest cycle, so we never have, like, empty squares. The drought is over. Uh, we still have a bit left in our reservoir here. Let's see how much. Let's pull up. Ooh, we are like bare bottoms here, but uh, our reserve hasn't been touched at all. We are still harvesting um, happily. So I, I think we, I think we got this licked. And now the water's just flooded through, so that's uh, that's even better. Okay, we now have enough points to unlock the forestry, so we're going to do that. Oops, that's the wrong side. And I want to kind of place this in a central location. Uh, I guess we're not going to be able to get up here. It's not very, it doesn't extend very far. So let's get rid of this guy here. And then we'll put the forestry right here. That way we'll have a little bit on the other side of the water. And we need planks. I forgot that we need planks for that. So let's, uh, we're going to build a water wheel. We don't need planks for this, that's fine. And we'll build a lumber mill. There, the water wheel's built and we've got really great flow through there. Peaking at 130 HP, horsepower. I don't know why it's in horsepower, weird. Unfortunately, we're not going to have a lot of time to uh, make planks because the drought is coming and we can't power our lumber mill when the drought's on. Okay, so our forester is all set up. Now, uh, we're going to jump directly into pine, I think. Not pine. What gives us the most wood? Maple gives us the most wood. So we're going to put down maple, just like that. And how far out can we go? So we can just... We can actually go all the way around here. So we're just going to put maple all the way around. Kind of shooting myself in the foot, because we do need pine resin at some point. And let's put uh, more maple trees over here. And for now, we'll only surplus um, 13 planks because we're not going crazy on the uh, building right now. We're just trying to stabilize. We'll take the opportunity to uh, do a little rearranging around. We'll put the farmhouse down here, which will still be a, a little bit longer to walk, but it means we have six more squares freed up for crops. I'm also sticking with the carrots. I'm not going to make any potato farms right now because carrots give us more food per cycle, I guess, uh, than any of the other ones except for, I think you actually make more wheat into bread than you do corn but wheat will be um, way down the, the list I'm also putting in a second science guy here uh, so that our 
mill worker will have something to do during the off season. I feel secure enough now to risk adding a few more houses onto our, our row here. And I'm not even going to try to save the, the trees. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna demolish this whole area. And I'm gonna put in a third farm right here just to try to help them all keep up with the harvesting. Our reserves are rapidly fading. We've got three days left. Hopefully um, our water will hold out for that much longer. But what we can do now is we can open up floodgates. Now I'm gonna open up floodgates before I open up levees uh, because I want to be able to control the water more than I want to be able to, to hold it off. Now I don't, I don't need levees all the way across. I think all I need is two. Like we've got six, we've got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight water sources. And I think they produce half per. So that means there'll be four blocks of uh, inflow. I think that's how it works. I calculated it before. I didn't calculate it. I observed it before to see how much would be coming in. So I'm gonna start off with two and see where that goes. Oh, and we're out of water. We are also out of storage room. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to put down another thing of storage for carrots, just so that we have a, a good, nice surplus. We're also going to prioritize this because I need that done like right now in a hurry. And we've lost our crops. So water is is not, we don't have enough water. And our, our science points have already popped up really quickly. So now we can buy uh, levees at the same time. And for levees, I'm just gonna put them all down. And if they flood, uh, if this area floods, then I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to bulldoze one of them. And here comes the Wata again. And we can get our mill right back in there. Mill worker, whatever you want to call him. And we're already going into another drought, so that is not great. We've also lost power here because all of our flow is going through one uh, area. And we don't seem to be flooding. We're up to the halfway mark, so uh, I think we're good. Now we're also generating a shitload of energy from that one water wheel. Oh, 
Our forester has also happily planted all the trees almost. We still got a few on this side to go, but because the maturation rate is so low, uh, we should be able to uh, harvest and plant at a fairly consistent rate. Our drought has started, so I'm going to desynchronize. I'm going to lift this guy up, and I don't want it to flood. I'll lift that guy up to 0.5, and we'll just keep an eye here. Okay, so this is starting to run dry here. Let's close this up and hope we don't get a flood event. It's not as high as I would like it to be. I didn't close fast enough. And it's going to be a 12-day flood. I think it's higher than normal. A little higher than normal, but uh, we did miss some water here. I wish that there was a way to make to control these a little more finely, so I could put it up to like uh, 0.95 or something to that effect, but I guess that might be a little too easy if we do it that way. And we've got plenty of points again, science points, so I want to open up the platform and the stairs. And we still got 150 left, so what are we going to open up now? Uh, probably gears. We're going to do gears next. But first, I would like to transfer these planks out of here. So I'm going to make a small storage container just over here because I have space. And this will be for planks. Now that we have planks on that side of the river, I can grab this, uh, the path first, delete the path there, then we'll delete the dam, then we'll put down a platform and a walkway. Okay, and that's done. Let's make sure we have enough planks now. So we have nine planks and we need four to get that finished. So we're just going to delete the path again, then we're going to delete the dam again, and we're going to put the platform, and another path. Now for these guys, we'll do the same thing, but instead of putting a platform there, because this is not giving us very much power, we will put a, a levee there. A levee? Yeah, levee right there. And uh, we won't forget to put the path. And we'll do the rest while we're, uh, when that's done. There. Now that we have the levees built, we're going to demolish this water wheel. Oops, I'm going to demolish this water wheel. And we're going to replace it with levees. Now I wonder if this is going to be picked up first. Let's pick these up first, just to make sure that we don't lose these resources. I'm also going to build a path down here, just because. We are once again drastically overproducing carrots, which uh, suddenly doesn't matter anymore because we just lost all our water. So I was going to say I'm going to make more houses, but yeah, that's a moot point now. Now we just sort of wait for the next four days for the drought to finish and we can restart everything that we're doing. We'll put a lumber mill production right here, uh, or where won't we? No, we'll temporarily put a power bar here, a power shaft here. But that's where we're going to put our gear factory is right here. So that we can share the power through the buildings without having to shaft. But this way we'll lose fewer resources. Uh, I'm also going to put levees here just so that we can channel all the water past this water wheel, just to maximize the amount of energy that we're grabbing from this thing. The forest up here that we, that we strip mine is also recovering a little bit. Slowly, but it is recovering. It's recovering enough that that tree is in the way now. Uh, because we were going to build across here, but I may not do that right now. Uh, we still have quite a surplus of carrots here, so maybe I will expand my population again. So 
So with the river the way it is, and this channel that we've built in, we can grab 360 horsepower. That's pretty good. We could probably increase that significantly if we doubled the flow through rate, but I'm not exactly sure. I guess with the amount of wood that we have, it doesn't really matter. So this is going to be turned into a... Uh, I've decided that this is going to be turned into a second plank factory because gears also need planks. So we're just going to lay that down there just in time for the drought to start. Okay, so I've sealed both doors, and the reservoir up here is not completely drained. Now it's completely drained. And I think... No, I thought I was just over uh, overflowing. Uh, I Well, that's a pretty good job. I got right, right to the top. 13 days, 13.5 days, and then the um, uh, to the end of the drought. Uh, but I don't think this little wedge of water is going to stand it. Our next real push is to get to a dynamite so that we can open up this area and deepen our channel here. Because if we can deepen the channel, then we can store more water longer. Because the calculation is mostly for surface area. Uh, we also have plenty of science points, so I am going to hop forward to the paper mill and unlock that. Oops, and the paper mill is very differently shaped, and I don't like that. I would rather them be uniform, but whatever. The printing press, I think, is four long. No, the printing press is the same. No, it's four long. And while we're in drought, we're gonna delete these poles here, these uh, power shafts, and we're gonna build our second lumber mill. We're still at the beginning of the drought here, but we're at the maximum capacity for our warehouses and our carrots. Now, 400 carrots is probably a good number to have uh, in storage, but I would like to build more, and we, we do have quite a bit of wood, so I'd like to build more just so we could have uh, a much better buffer. Now, we can start making large oh no we can't i've used up all my uh my points so we'll continue with the medium warehouses and i'm going to make two of them So we're starting to get in our rush of trees, and unfortunately I can see that I have planted some chestnut nut trees by mistake over here and over here. So I'm going to have to replace those. And one of the ways you can do that is by demolish those trees like that, then like that, then cancel the demolishing. And what that'll do is that will remove the mound of dirt underneath it. So these trees will continue to grow like this. These are chestnut trees, too, that I've accidentally planted. And I don't mind having chestnut trees, just not at this point of the game. We'll get rid of those. And uh, we'll look for some more dark green ones here. I can't see any. So then cancel. And then these will grow normally. And then once they reach uh, full maturity, they'll be chopped down. And I'll be able to see that there's a space there and then I'll be able to replant them with maples. Now, I, I'm not actually 
taking up any maple syrup right now because I don't need the maple syrup at this point, and I don't really care about the maple syrup at this point. Unless you can eat the maple syrup. I'm not sure if they can eat just maple syrup. They couldn't in the last update. They might be able to do it in this update. I have no idea. We're getting close to halfway through the drought, and unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we're going to make it to the end of the drought with the water that we have. So, that's an unfortunate thing, uh, but we do have quite a bit of water here. We've now gained a very nice, very large surplus of carrots here. We now have uh, two times four, so 800 carrots, and we only have a population of 22. So that'll give us uh, quite a few days of, of surplus here. And like I showed a little while ago, demolishing and then undemolish and then canceling the demolish has reverted these back to just being normal trees or not trees that you would we'd be planting in the future. So now I can just queue them up to be maple trees. We're also about to have a huge glut of wood, so I kind of want to have a temporary place to put them. And I think up here is probably a good uh, spot. Uh, it'd be nice to have the underground pile, but we'd need... Oh, we, we might have gears. Oh, we don't have enough gears for that, so we're just going to use, like, normal piles for now, even though that's not very efficient. And we're going to grab quite a few of them here, and we'll set them all to wood. It would be nice if we had a... Um, a copy settings button on this thing, so I wouldn't have to do this. But we don't! And we just ran out of water. So we have 2.9 days left, so we probably won't lo lose the crops, but that doesn't super matter now that we have so much. That looks like the wrong message. Can't obtain goods because it's full. Build a hauling post in the district. I don't think that's the correct... Oh, okay, so you... I thought these things also did hauling, the, the town halls, but I guess they, they removed that? Yeah, I don't see the... I don't see the check mark for hauling while idle, so I guess they've changed that. Thankfully, building a haulier won't be that uh, difficult. We can just we can just sneak it up over here. And for this guy, we will then remove two beavers from here because if they just build, then all we needed them to do is build. And we'll put the haulier down to minimum because they can come in, come and go whenever they need. So our crops have died, and that's fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the opportunity to get rid of half of them. Or a quarter of them, sorry. And in its place, we'll plant sunflower seeds, just so they have some variety. And because we're not going to have a lot of sunflower seeds, and they're going to be in demand, we'll just use a small stockpile for them. So we built here a little levee, and it looks like I've pointed them in different directions, but that doesn't really matter. We grain in different directions. But why I built this was so that we can get a printing press in here. Or a pa paper mill, sorry. That's not the right one. Okay, well the sizes haven't changed. I just forgot what the sizes were. We'll unlock the 
the uh, the explosive factory. And this is four long, so that's the one I wanted. Is it four long? Yes, it is. So that's the one I wanted to go here. There we go. And I built this area here so that I can get platform like that. And then I can put pathways like this. And then the, uh, the other four long will go here, and I think that's the printing press. It would be nice if it actually put the sizes of the buildings in here, which they don't. So you kind of have to look that up on the Wikipedia, or you have to remember how big they are. Or you have to open them up, because I really thought that paper mill was, was four wide. Now I've built some stairs and a path over here, but these stairs are going to have two purposes. The first purpose is to like get us over here so we can get into the uh, the metal ruins here. But it will also give us a path up on top of these buildings. And that's going to be important because I'm going to be putting the new lodges up there. Well, not new lodges. They're, they're old lodges. They've been in the game for a long time, but they will be new to us in this in this session. And since water is still a kind of major minor concern, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put paths on top of these um, houses here, and then I'm going to try to put a few small tanks and see if the hauliers will bring water to this area because I'm not convinced they will. I think the hauling system is a little bit broken from where it was before. And actually, that system seems to be working pretty good. So I'm going to fill this entire balcony up with water for now. These are all just temporary, but it will give us um, a very nice surplus. And we can see that they are eating the sunflower seeds here. So one more and we'll get an, an average, a boost to the average well-being. And I've already unlocked the iron teeth. Now that the drought is gone, 
and we're starting to fill up our water reserves here and we're still getting we still have pretty good uh, reserves of carrots we've gone down quite a bit but not to the point where we need to panic a little uh, we're going to go and unlock the largest lodges and now we can put those in we'll put two in right away and those will become accessible through this path So this drought, we did manage to get it right up to the tippy top. Still going to have 15 days of, uh, of drought here, so I have no idea how well we're going to weather that. But let's see. And now we have no water, and it's not even halfway through the, the drought season. So the droughts are getting worse and worse and worse. I think they go up to about 30 days or something like that. We're starting to get a little dire on our carrot surplus here, and we're out of carrot. Uh, we should have enough blueberries to support us until, uh, until the end of the drought. We're also going to start replacing these small barrels as they get used up with bigger water storage. So if we go into storage here and we go into the medium tanks, we'll open the medium tanks up. And now we'll put the medium tanks down here, and we'll empty this one out too.
At this point, we are barely hanging on for dear life here. If I choose one of my beavers here, our hunger need is now maximum. And we don't have the food yet. So I thought maybe this, these berries would have satisfied us, but now nah, that's not going to be the case. Uh, we're going to have a mass die off very soon. But as long as we don't lose every one of the beavers, we might be able to recover. If not, perhaps restart, or perhaps I go back to the last save, and you never know this happened. Or I choose an exciting third option, which you will never know about unless you watch the next episode. Or something. You don't have to.